Yeah, they're going to be on these mats. Greg Hackney here. Early fall. And we've done a lot of techniques today, which is typically the thing in the fall, but matted over vegetation, probably one of my favorite ways to fish bar none, is flipping mats. And uh, big deal in the fall, I said it earlier, is using just enough weight to get through that stuff. I'm using an ounce and a quarter because that's the lightest weight that I can get through there with it. And, uh, but in the same situation, if this was more in the summertime, I'd use an ounce and a half because I'd want that faster rate of fall. But right now, I want just enough weight to get through that stuff. You want a rod with a good parabolic bend. This is a 7-Eleven Super Duty. And it's, it's a big rod, but it's fairly, you know, not limber, but that it has that parabolic bend where when I set the hook, it bends all the way down the rod. Because remember, that big rod, a no-stretch line, you want to more or less lean into those fish and not tear a big hole in their mouth. It's just a big key when flipping mats. It's just not to tear that hook out. You need that soft rod. But you still need a big rod because I'm using a big weight. And typically, anytime I'm using bigger than an ounce, punching mats, an ounce, ounce and a quarter, ounce and a half, even up to a two ounce, I always use the Super Duty 7-Eleven. Uh, basically, same reel I was flipping earlier. This is a, uh, a Super Duty reel. I, I, I like the Super Duty reel on braid just in general because it was made for that. And there's so much shock setting a hook with a no stretch, low stretch line like braid that it's hard on your equipment. But uh, just having the right setup is key, you know, dragging those fish out of those mats. 